Okay, this is what I'm calling the big lid motor because that's a big lid right there. And uh, this is just a simple uh, reed switch pulse motor. But um, I found out that you could take a regular plastic lid off of a uh, you know, coffee can or anything that's got one of those dimples in the middle of it and just poke a needle through the, the lid and put some magnets uh, on the lip of that lid, one on the inside and one on the outside, and then build a very, very simple structure and make a, an interesting lid motor uh, using uh, just a plastic lid. And uh, this is another one here that I, I put together that shows you the, the kind of situation where it's just a plastic lid and the magnets go on the lip of the lid. But this is a big one. And if you're careful with it, you can and you, and you poke the hole in the right spot of the lid, and you're careful about getting the needle straight, it makes a pretty interesting little uh, motor, pulse motor. And I'm going to stop this here and, and uh, show you how it's made. This is just a, uh, a little driver unit that I've shown many times before. And this has been one of those handy things that I've built so far. It's just a reed switch, a coil of 30 gauge wire on a machine sewing bobbin, sewing machine bobbin, a uh, 10 farad super cap that I put uh, some energy in it from a couple of AA batteries, and then the LED goes across the coil, captures the fly back to flash, and uh, you can put it up against a wheel and it's got magnets on it, and there's your driver unit. And like I can say, that's been one of the most effective little uh, handy tools that I've ever made, that little thing right there. But let me show you how this thing works here. Um, what it is, is it's just um, a needle through that lid and it goes into a plastic bead on the bottom and just sits on the bottom of the tongue depressor. Um, and I put uh, pencil lead uh, and uh, crazy glue on the bottom there before I glued that bead on there. And then up at the top, it's just a hole where the needle goes through the hole, and it's a real sloppy fit. But that makes a pretty darn good bearing surface. But uh, on the magnet situation, this is all north-facing magnets on the lid here. And there's one on the inside and one on the outside. And they just stick together and they don't come off. I've run this up pretty darn fast and they don't seem to fly off. They don't seem to migrate much either. But on this particular lid, there was a lip on the lid that held them even better. But that turned out to be a very, very effective pulse motor setup. Let's see if I can get it to go here. And what I'm finding out is when you have a big lever arm, basically, on these uh, rotors, if you keep the friction down, the pulse rate on the motor here, you can see the thing flashes. Um, because the energy is coming out of that cap every time the, the motor fires, the fewer times you can fire that, and the slower you can keep that thing, the longer it's going to run. And what I've been working on for a um, long time now is long-running pulse motors. Pulse motors that will run a long time on a certain amount of energy. And I worked with this all day long. And uh, I was inter inter fascinated to see that uh, how long that would run on the uh, 10 fair 2.7 cap uh, filled up with about... Uh, two to three volts of uh, juice in it and it's this big lever arm that you're working with and the fact that it's pushing this rotor around not super fast but it's got a lot of torque on it that uh, I found out was um, very very effective and you can make this go real lean by pulling it out away from the, re the wheel and then the, the uh, pulse basically is slowed down and as long as it's pulsing so many times per revolution that thing runs for a long long time and it's just something I wanted to share with people that you can make a very interesting pulse motor just by using the plastic lid of a, 
uh, container. And that happens to be Cool Whip lid right there. It was a whipping cream a Cool Whip lid, and it had a dimple right in the middle of it that I was able to get that needle through there. And I didn't glue the needle or anything. It's just shoved in there through friction. And that uh, made a very interesting um, big lid motor. Thanks for watching.